Okay, so one more type of reaction um, is called combustion. Um, when I say the word combustion, um, think of what words come to mind. Uh, normally if I ask people, okay, what do you think? Um, people say burned, explosion, boom, things like that. Um, there actually are some differences between things burning and things exploding. Uh, we can revisit that another time, but something burning is the right idea. So anytime we're dealing with combustion, we know we're dealing with combustion because the question will say is burned or is burning, something like that. Um, that is different than something being heated. That's a different type of reaction that we'll talk about next time, um, but you heat things all the time that you wouldn't consider burning them. You can heat up your cup of coffee um, without burning it, ideally. So combustion is burning. That's how you'll know it's this type, unlike single and double displacement where you have to recognize it based on, oh, that's a compound or two compounds. Um, acid carbonate always has an acid and a carbonate in it. Combustion always has the word is burned. Um, and in this class, we only burn hydrocarbons. Um, so I'm not telling you how every single combustion reaction in the world works, but all of the ones we use will operate like this. Um, so picture a candle burning. And then if I went and I took a glass and I put it over the candle, so it was completely covered, what would happen? Um, and a lot of you know, maybe you said out loud, that the flame would go out. And the reason why the flame goes out is when you put the glass over it, you've deprived the part that's burning, the flame, you've deprived it of oxygen. Okay, the reason I have you visualize that is every combustion reaction needs oxygen in order to happen. So whatever we are burning, for now I'm just gonna pretend we are burning squiggly line rather than some actual compound. Whatever we are burning, we have to add oxygen to. Now I wrote O2 because oxygen is a diatomic like we saw in the last video. Um, so it's just oxygen by itself, it needs that too there. Now, anytime we burn it, we're always just adding O2 and that's it. Um, if you think about why say burning gasoline, which is a hydrocarbon, why burning gasoline is bad for the environment, a lot of you might know, well, that's because it releases CO2 into the atmosphere, which is a greenhouse gas. Um, burning any hydrocarbon, is going to release CO2. Um, and then it also releases water. So if you think about things burning and seeing steam leave, that would be water in that case. So all of our reactions follow this exact same format. Um, I could say CH4 is burned or C5H12 is burned. <coughs> Any combinations of Cs and Hs, maybe some Os in there also, if they're burned, add O2, yield CO2 and H2O, and that's it. Um, so for instance, We'll do one CH4 is burned. We take CH4. Because it says is burned, we add O2, and we know that we make CO2 and H2O. No charges, no crisscrossing, nothing, just always that. Um, what I do have up here at the top of this section of the notes is the words balancing trick. Um, balancing these can throw people, some people for a loop because you have oxygen in so many different places. You have oxygen here, oxygen there, and oxygen there. It kind of splits up. So the balancing trick that I suggest you use is to go in alphabetical order. Balance your carbons first, then your hydrogens, and finish with your oxygens last. So on the left hand side I have one carbon, on the right hand side I have one carbon. One carbon, one carbon, my carbons are balanced. For the hydrogen, on the left-hand side, I have four hydrogens. On the right-hand side, I have two. So I need to fix that. I do that by putting a two in front of the water. Now I can finally finish up with the oxygens, and I'm actually gonna look at the right-hand side first because there are oxygens in multiple places. So here I have two oxygens, and here, because that distributes, I have another two. So in total on the right-hand side, I have four oxygens. And on the left, I currently only have two. Putting a two in front, we'll fix that. Um, and that would be it. Now, sometimes we end up with, on the right-hand side, an odd number of oxygens. Um, it's always here on the left gonna be a two. So anytime we multiply a number by a two, we end up with an even number and that for instance, when we have four oxygens, it's really easy to get to four by multiplying by two. 
Um, when we get an odd number, you have two choices. What I do and what most people do um, is just balance the oxygen on the left with a fraction. Um, so let me show you that. And then if you don't like it, I'll tell you the other way you can go about it. Um, if we say C4H10 is burned. So again, we take the thing being burned, we add oxygen, we make carbon dioxide and water. On the left-hand side, I have four carbons. So a four on the right-hand side will fix the carbons. On the left-hand side, I have 10 hydrogens. On the right, I currently have two, a five there, we'll fix it. Now looking at my oxygens, on the right-hand side, I have eight here, because the four distributes, and another five there. So eight plus five gets me 13 oxygens. What I'm gonna do is take 13, that odd number of oxygens I had on the right, and put it as a fraction over two in front of the O2. Because 13 halves times two, right? This two and that two would cancel out. I'd end up with 13 oxygens. So you can always just take the odd number that you got on the right and put it over two. It'll always be over two, not any other weird fraction on the left. Now, if you don't like that, how you could approach this, once you get to the point where you have here and you realize it's an odd number of oxygens, if that ever happens, you are welcome to put a two in front of the beginning, whatever was being burned, and then start over on the balancing. Um, it's not my preference. There's a lot of erasing. I'd rather just throw something over two, but I'd rather you do this if you hate fractions. So um, now rebalancing. I have eight carbons on the left, so I need an eight on the right. I have 20 hydrons on the left, so I need a 10 on the right. If I now do this math, that's 16 plus another 10, that's 26. Um, I would get 13 times two to get 26 on the left. Um, as you see there, everything is just doubled what I originally had written, whatever you like.